Oh, the book. The book. Mark, Drew, we do a, uh, we go around and from one to 10, we do a mental check-in. You on. Say how we doing and what's going on and anything you want to talk about. Oh man, where's my face? I don't see Important my face family. over there. Huh? I was looking for my face. I see my face on the February 25th. I'm a, I'm a little vexed now because I don't see my face with y'all. Oh, oh shut up. <laughs> Where's his face, Jay? Y'all on there? All right, well, we on here. We live. What's oh. up, Sador family? Hey. Welcome to the real shit. No joke show coming to you live. What's yeah. the door podcast, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram viewers, all y'all. Thank you for tuning oh. in. We got some very special guests, but first, without a hesitation, let me talk to my co-host, Miss Bikini Body and Nicole Spain. What up, family? Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> the best Leos in the building. She got the best Leos on earth in this building. Ow. I said round. I said round. round. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to welcome our guest. We have a comedian in the house. I call him man with the sand. He always on somebody beat. Mr. <laughs> Andrew Thomas. Hey, what's up, y'all? How y'all doing? Hey. Hey. And hey. we got Miss Kiana Sparks. This young lady is all about helping you to get a dollar while you lose some weight and keep a positive attitude. Oh, I need to get so this. We welcome y'all to the show. Hey. Hey. Miss Sparks in the building sparked this cellulite off. Come on now. <laughs> so we want to go around. Let's go ahead and get it started with the mm -hmm. middle check-in from one to ten. Where you at and how you doing? All right, Facebook and uh Sador users. Y'all know y'all can definitely contact us. The telephone number 215-909-6070. Let That's us right. know what you're thinking and what shit you want to cut. But for right now, let's get into this mental. Hey, let's get into this mental health thing. Who going first? We got our guests in the building. We got our yeah, guests in the building. Yeah. Um, ladies first. Ladies yeah. first. That ladies would be first. me. So yeah. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling amazing. I don't have no complaints. God I'm bless. absolutely, absolutely top notch. My energy got to be high. Just got to be high. Yeah. So you beyond a ten? You, I'm, you, I'm beyond a ten. You a thou? I'm, 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 I ain't even got no numbers. She's like, I ain't got no I ain't putting no limits on it. That's what I'm Woo! doing. No limits. Yes, so now. Now. <laughs> no limit. We need a radio in this building. No limit. <laughs> Wait, she about to make me hang out with her. No yeah. Limit. So why, what, what got you so, so ecstatic, which is a blessing. Yes. Why, why are you yeah. so, listen, life is going great right now. Business is thriving. Family is good. I'm good. I'm healthy. I don't have no complaints and I'm not letting nobody get on my nerves on purpose. Hey, come hey. on, baby. Hey. I need that energy. I need that when I'm on my period. Let me, I gotta, I gotta, <laughs> I gotta, okay. I gotta take this video and come back and watch this shit. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Take a sip to that while I don't. Yeah. Yes. I'm gonna give y'all some vibes. Stand it up y'all feel it. <laughs> Exactly. I am feeling it. I see all them pretty colors behind you. I'm seeing why you're so excited. Yeah. I see That's affirmations. And like you a school teacher mation over there. You got the little spec, you know. You, you hey, hold on, let me let me let me see you better see that awful. education. Look at all Yo, them colors. Yeah. Now, what, what is that? What so so those? those are affirmations on my wall that I look, I speak every day. I speak positivity, I speak life. You know, I'm all about motivation, inspiration, making it happen. So I look to those every day. So yeah. tell us, maybe give us, you have four other people. Give us all one. Give us one. So hmm. so I'm going to give y'all, I am, I can, I, okay. I will, I and will. I won't stop until. Oh, okay. I won't stop. I am. I am. I am. I will. And I won't stop until. Oh. I love it. I won't. I am. I'm the. Damn. Like the Harvey Weinstein would say. Go right, so quick and, I, and I'm gonna do this because this is it's a shameless plug. So we got shirts. Right. Oh, Ooh, that's cool. You see that? That's uh -huh. I like that. Where can I get one of those? So I got that on my wall. I got it on my shirts. That's what we living by. I love, I it. love, I love it. it. I love it. Yeah. Um, Where can I? So I'm, I'm gonna pull. I am. I'm gonna say I am somebody. 
Ooh, and yes. I'm like, yes. I will. I'm, I'm, I will. I will get this cellulite off of me. I will Woo. get this 800 credit score. I Woo. will get this fine ass, rich ass Woo. man with no cellulite Woo. himself. I will. Who <laughs> <laughs> wants to Says, Amen. <laughs> so, Mr. Thomas and Drew, the comedian of the decade, what's your, oh. what's, how are you feeling from one to 10? Well, yes. I'll, I'll say I'm a seven. But mm -hmm. after okay. I smoke this joint, I'm going to be a 12. I don't have much to uh, complain about. I mean, it always could be worse. And I'm, and I'm, uh, I'm always Thanks. grateful. And I'm always thankful. And yeah. I got to know where your t-shirt at so I can uh, cop one. Right. Yeah. Ain't no problem. You know, this is, you just this get is with me after the show and I got you. There you no. go. All right, I'm gonna get, you I'm gonna know, get Andrew, you say it can always be worse, and here we you, it uh it can always be better. You know, I, we this is our transparent hour, so if it wasn't yeah. good, you know, we we always welcome our guests. You ain't gotta tell all your business if you want if we don't want to. We're not gonna gossip about you, but the world will, but they watching. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you know, if you wasn't feeling good, we still here for you. You know, that's anything it. specific going on yeah. that's making you with this seven? Because seven is a good number with the world we in now. That's seven is dope. I mean, honestly, like with COVID, uh, not being able to be uh, like having to worry about getting shots and vaccines and all that. Uh, yeah, you know, just save the needle. Right. I'm, I'm an 80s baby, man. No 80s baby want a needle in their arm. You know what I mean? Right. And then, you know, I like to travel. You know, I just came back from Puerto Rico. Got some. Yo, uh, that's, that's that me. life, not having no kids. I told you, he keeps saying between his toes. He keeps saying it between his toes. <laughs> that's, that's not having no child support. That's good for you. I he agree. No <laughs> I ain't got no child support. He said, I don't know what you heard about me, but you don't see no kids around. That's, that's what right. I <laughs> Make I actually take care of other kids, but but there's no child support. Right. <laughs> Shout out to the parents. We love parents here, but we like when the kids are grown and we don't have kids. Yes. <laughs> we like the parents right. that like to walk and have their own jobs and careers and houses. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you, exactly. yeah. Yeah. Mr. Thomas, if you had a paraphernalia, if you had a, a shirt, what, what would be on your shirt? What would be on your hats and your merch? Hmm. I mean, well, I, I am getting some merch, but I, but right now I have this right here. If, if you can read my t-shirt. What is that? Squirt the head. Squirt the head. I like that. I like I like hers more. I like hers more. Uh, sparks. Right. I, I definitely see myself sparking it up with her. I love it. Oh, uh, yeah, just yeah, like just sparking up like I will. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am. Them. I am them. It won't be none, No bad energy. Smoke it out. The uh, only energy, thing I want to well, remind you, everyone of: we have to be very careful about speaking over each one. Oh, because okay. again, remember we're on the radio, so everyone's not able to see that we laugh and smile and all like that. So we want to just be mindful of that. I'll be thinking sometimes we should just put the church finger up when somebody want to talk to us. I tried that. <laughs> well, we also. But I feel like I look like a freak when I do it. Like I'm real freakish. Like, hey. no, I don't want you to do that. Because that don't even bring in our here. Pastor, are we praying on our knees tonight, Pastor? Ooh, what's the difference? I gotta stop. The Lord said, in all thy ways, acknowledge him, Lord Jesus. Ooh. <laughs> church mm. and pimps. You got church folk mm. and the pimps. Yes. <laughs> all right, Big Queen, you know. Nicole, what number we at, baby? What we doing? Um, For me, I think my number is a nine. Uh, I'm a, I'm a high number. First of all, the weather seems to be breaking. Hallelujah, yeah. Hallelujah. You know, yesterday Holla. it seemed for like high, holla, you know, uh, Hawaii and Harlem. You know, just felt good. <laughs> um, I um, I'm still on a hunt on a housing search. I I, I uh, put a little bit of my business out there. I'm in the process of buying um a home here in Philly. So I'm just trying to. Keep positive with that. I filled out about 20 grant applications. Oh, um, my God. Bless her. My sister Johnson, she don't know what she's doing over the phone. But I'm just trying to be patient with the community resources. You know what I mean? Um, and I'm also hyped. I got a, a virtual show tonight. So Woo! I'm excited. 
I, we got if we are all, you know, mostly comedians in here. I think we've all been kind of separated in a little distance from comedy in our own little way. So I'm just hyped that the bro want me on again and I hope I do well. So I'm, you know, I'm in a nine. I'm, I'm, I'm hype and optimistic. You're going to do great. It. Thank you. Yes. yes. I'm <laughs> loving it. <laughs> Well, Bikini, I'll let you end it. I know you have some other things going on. So I'll just say, I'm um I'm always on my thousand. Like I'll be just excited did, 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 about being excited. Did, 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 did. <laughs> I know, but today, if I gotta specify my excitement, I'm excited because I'm actually going to be able to get on our show on the laptop on the computer. Oh, that right. is a small deal to some people. I don't care about them, but to thing. me, it's a big darn deal. <laughs> So I will be able to be seen and I'll be able to still work on my phone. Yeah. So it's a little thing, but it is a very big thing. And again, we're all here. My family's well. I'm blessed. I'm growing. Different opportunities are coming. Mm. And it's just beautiful, be a light to some other people. So I'm mm. on my thousand. I'm Somebody a little say check. disheartened because I know my sister Bikini is going through a little something. And I just say in true mm. love and in true friendship, even when you are fantabulous, when someone around you is hurting or going through, your numbers do kind of come down a little bit because you ache for them. You know what I mean? Oh, so yeah. I have somewhat of an ache, but I know my baby's in good spirits and uh, we all here for each other. So Bikini, go ahead and end this part of it. Where you at, baby? We want to end this part with a two two numbers. Um, first number is uh, been fluctuating between five and a 10. I lost a great grand uncle um, to suicide. Lost. So at the age of uh, years old, probably like 90,000 to his self, um, just a, a person that you wouldn't even think of. You wouldn't think we forget about our seniors sometimes. And mm. he was a senior and he took his life. Um, mm. So it's definitely nothing that I'm not going to share because this is what's going on. This is what's real. So I'm between like a four to seven with that, because you got to remember, they always give you memories and he was always straight, no chaser. Don't you not, don't you not go to work. I All wish right. you would take off. So took an hour off and thinking about that. And I'm at work, like he said, and I'm cracking my knuckles. Second part of my numbers going down and up. I was cracking my knuckles. Well, I cracked my knuckles so hard as I'm listening to the story that I cracked my bone out my finger. Oh wow! So hence this, and we can't bend it. We can only go oh, down, but we can't go to. Oh. We can't do this. We can't go. Come here, boy. We can go. Come here, boy. Or come here, boy. Or where is Pointer? Where is Pointer? Here I am. Here I am. Why the fuck you crack code? Why the fuck you crack code? I don't know. I don't know. Do you know how hard it is to put on closed shoes? tie up anything, dig up your nose with a broken finger. You don't realize how you really take advantage of your body parts and your amenities, your extremities until you ain't using them no more or you can't. Right. So I'm fluctuating. I'm, bet I'm between like a five and a 10. I can't get sad because he lived his full life. Mm -hmm. um, but I, it makes me think about my clients. It makes me think about our seniors and people that are actually in quarantine we stay mm. quarantine we say stay at home but our asses are outside mm. at the end of the day we're going to stores we buying shit we're getting t-shirts so we out here but they're not and 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 that just it, it took me back a little bit and then you know noticing as you're getting older people are dying and you're losing family members and losing friends so my heart is a little heavy but then a little light so i'm glad that i have my radio family Mm -hmm. I'm glad that I have you guys to stare back at these screens to give me life because I know I'm not the only one going through it. Different things happen every day of every moment of every second and you never know what can happen next. So yes. at the end of the day, cut the bullshit, love each other because you don't know your ass will not be here after you get off this damn phone. Mm -hmm. right. You have yes. no idea. So I love all of you. I appreciate seeing your faces. I'm glad that everybody is here. Um, especially that beautiful face looking at in the corner with all the dots behind it. I am, I will, and I did it. Like the book. Right? And then we got, we got Mr. Hat in the back, like he about to come from the Django. Like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 
I'm good. I got Nick in the background. Look at she had a Sears portrait going on. Oh, yes, you see that? Close to the left. Close to the left. I see your Sears portrait background, girl. I see it. Life and person comedy. I finally got me a background. Girl. Oh, girl. I love it. And Jay running up the steps, and, and then the cops letting you go. Listen. <laughs> okay. Okay. You like that was a good. You're 25 for that. Like, that was a good cop. Yeah, there were two of them. They were nice. That was good. They was laughing so hard. Again, I'm up here in Northeast. There's so many Caucasian people. And mm-hmm. the cops is laughing and we talking, they laughing so hard. Like they are hitting my car, how you would hit a table, cracking up. And so mm-hmm. I'm looking around. So people around is just starting to laugh. Having a good old time, having a good That's old time. Thing. I mean, I know we go through our stuff with them, but it's not every cop. It's each mm-hmm. individual person mm-hmm. as is each individual person. You yeah. know, we can't judge everybody. We can judge right. individually, but not mm-hmm. every damn body. I right. think yeah, humor got good. you out of that. Humor got you out of that. It was Yes, humor. it did. <laughs> have you just joked your way out of a ticket? I, I may have smiled one time, but I, I said, what the hell you brought me over for? And I'm cracking up. What you what you brought me for? Like, <laughs> you know, you really didn't do nothing wrong. That's what I'm saying. You can stand on truth sometimes. You just like, you know, I'm not as nervous or nothing. Everything open my pocket, but right, nigga, what's, what's up? I got somewhere to be. I got a radio show. What we doing? Right. He's like, well, what radio show? What station? So, no, I need you to follow. I'm handing out the card. He was like, well, man, we can't take it. Not a problem. S A D I O R. J Monet just laughed. Right. I need the support just like you did. And that's my thing. They just really started laughing hard. So, just get out of here. Get out of here. Be careful. They're like, are you a comedian? Yeah, tell me a joke. Yes, I am. Yeah. <laughs> the joke is gonna be y'all not taking my ID and letting me draw the hell out of here. That's that's the joke tonight. Ooh, that was dope. That's all yeah. right. So y'all know he on the real shit, no joke show. First hour is all about motivation and being encouraged. We talk about those H's, which is hope, happiness, yeah. health, yeah. all through humor. Mm-hmm. So we all like to take one of those words and say how we applying it in our lives and how others put and apply it. I was thinking, you know, the other day, maybe some other H words we want to put in there. So, you know, whatever <laughs> you feeling with that hope and humor and happiness, you know, let us know your feelings about it and share with our audience because maybe something you say may help them to through today. So who's going to go first and what mm-hmm. word we taking? So Ready everybody first. just take one word. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Of an okay. H. So, I was thinking about hussy because I seen this chick last night. Right, right. See, I see y'all faces. That's why I said I'm not <laughs> gonna do that. I'll do hope or something. But this hussy, but never oh. mind. And she was a hussy in the house. So it was a double A. She was a hussy. Never mind. <laughs> Ooh, she bought the old. Oh. <laughs> It was a that's hussy. Like that's that's easy. Easy. Then I that's think it was a heifer behind the door. I was like, ooh, all these H's everywhere. <laughs> hussy is all the hope. I said, I'll oh, take yeah, hope. I gotta be like that. I'll take, take hope. hope. I'll take hope. Okay. Okay, <laughs> why? It's really close to hoe. Uh, no. That's bad joke. <laughs> <laughs> bad joke. Bad joke. Like, bad joke. Sorry, my fault. Sure. <laughs> it's all right. But, but yeah, hope is, <laughs> hope is what help uh, us as Black people make it through all the types of oppression and come on, baby, come on now, come on. That we that we make it through. So yeah, that's why I'll take hope. Yeah, yeah. And how do you apply hope in your life? What what are you hopeful about, or how have you utilized it to get through some of that depression you're talking about? Oh man. Um, Mm -hmm. (laughs) Oh, it's 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 so much. I mean, (laughs) I I think all of us got our 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 journey, and uh, within our journey, we got our, uh, our ebbs and flows. And like you know, when that when that when that ebb is ebbing, man, whoo! Like mm. I, I, I was messed up during that quarantine, man. That, mm-hmm. that six months of like no pussy. Oh my god, I was right. Woo. <laughs> that, that oh, was hard. We not sensitive here. We are. Um, my fault. I know. I know y'all are all women, and that's part of the reason. No, no. First of all, Drew, we ain't believing that shit. Stop. <laughs> you ain't believing it. Stop. You ain't we gave you three it. seconds of of oh man. But but boy, bye. We're playing with you, child. We're not okay. like that. Come on now. Okay. But, but I'm hoping that, you know, after all this, maybe one day I won't have to uh um hand the other H hand. Yeah, the other H. <laughs> you won't have to help H. yourself. 
the other hand. I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm, ty- I'm tired of the hand. The helping hand. Yeah. The helping hand. You may be thankful yeah. for that hand. I, I am. But at the same time, I'm hopeful to have a woman's hand. Come <laughs> on, baby. Yeah. Possibly a marriage. Uh, who, who knows? That's so. what's up. You don't. Nowadays, you don't you don't want it. I'd rather have the hand and the other H, which is herpes. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh. <laughs> I said, oh, thank you, lady. We drop it. My face is like, okay. Just, 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 you was kind, you was smart, and you was herpes PD free. <laughs> all right miss sparks what h words you take you have happiness oh. you have health you have humor what you thinking i'm gonna jump right into this health aspect this is what we're going to jump right, right. right. right Here we now go, spark. This is- everybody and their mama need to be healthy everybody need to mm. boost their immune system everybody need to be detoxing because a lot of people ain't even eating real food these days right mm. that's just not what they serving right so right mm, I know that I don't grow my own food. So that means that I'm subjected to eat whatever it is that I'm grabbing from somebody's grocery store or somebody's fast food mm. restaurant or just outside in general. And I really don't know what it is. Okay. Mm. So mm. I need to be detoxing every single day. I need to be making sure that my body is working properly. I need to be making sure that I have vitamins. And this is why I have my product array here, right? Oh. Boom. Damn. So, we got a little Chocolate bit of right? wait what you say andrew chocolate white burst yes so we got a little bit of everything so we have some vitamins that you need anyway because it's going to help with your nutrients it's going to help balance your system it's going to give you your calcium your biotin it got all of your whole foods in it your amino acids i mean it got everything that you need and you only all you got to do is drink like one tablespoon of it and you're good to go. Right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is all I'm going to say really quick. Are, are you clear? Can y'all hear her clearly? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. She's great. Can you That's hear me? me? That's me. All right. Okay. So you just taking a, a little shot of this every day. Mm-hmm. Right? We have a variety of teas that you can detox with. We have a lemon flavor that comes with, that has hemp in it. Now, Ooh. I know that y'all like THC. I know. But this has a little bit of THC in it, right? Just a little bit, but it's enough. So it's going to help with maybe some stress, some anxiety, maybe help you sleep better, maybe help with some skincare, but it's definitely going to detox you. And people are losing weight. They're losing their gut. Now, I ain't going to say everybody because everybody is different, Mm -hmm. but you can definitely slim slim down with this, Mm -hmm. right? All you got to do is drink it at night before you go to bed. And you will wake up feeling absolutely amazing. So now I told you I have a few. So this is our lemon. We have raspberry. Ooh. Mm. Mm. Raspberry don't have no taste mm-hmm. in it, though, y'all. I'm sorry. Oh, no really? Nice. Okay. So you look at my THC. You don't want to get this one. It's a tad bit in there. Okay. We have the original. It don't have a flavor because some people don't like flavors. Okay. Right. All, of this is, all you have to do, put it in a bottle of water, shake it up, drink it. You good to go. You detoxing your system, right? So I know a lot of people like to detox. A lot of people need to detox. So that's what we're speaking about health today. So I just wanted to speak on health because that's what I do. I make sure that people are healthy from the inside out, and then not yes. only just healthy with their body, but they need to be healthy with their mental too because that's where it starts. So if your mind ain't right, your body ain't gonna be right, and that's just facts. come on, baby. True. That's what True. I want to speak about. So how long have you been using these products and what benefit do you see within yourself since you've been using it? So now I have been using, so I've been with the company for about four years, right? But when I first started, I was only using the tea. That's all I was using. Mm-hmm. And then I started progressing and I started learning about all of the other products. So I've been using the Nutribirds and the tea, I would say for about, consistently for about like two years, okay. right? But let me tell you, the tea, I don't really drink the tea every day, okay. right? Because I was doing something different than what everybody else was doing. Now, granted, everybody needs to detox. We need to detox every single day. But for right. me, I was trying to gain weight, right? Mm-hmm. I was trying to put a little bit of weight on because okay. a lot of people have this misconception is because you're skinny, you're healthy. And that's just not facts. Come on, skinny baby. can be very unhealthy as well. Come on, so, baby. With me, I needed to gain weight. I needed to eat right. I needed to get my, my, myself together. 
Mm-hmm. So I drink my tea maybe two or three times a week, right? Mm-hmm. I drink this tea and I detox. The Nutriburst, I take every single day. Every single day. Everybody named mama. My, my mama even give her dog the Nutriburst. Everybody. <laughs> like everybody. So okay, that's okay, every day. Tea is a couple times a week. Um, and then we have this product called NRG. I know I gave you some NRG, Jay, right? Yes. So the NRG is just a, it's an energy supplement, 12 hours of energy, no crashes, no jitters. It's going to give you mental clarity. It's going to help you focus. And it's also a mood stabilizer. So it keeps you in that upbeat, happy mood, mm. right? So I take that occasionally when I need, maybe if I'm going to be up all night or if I know I got class and then a show and then I got to work and then I got the children doing virtual school, I'll be needing to focus sometimes. Mm-hmm. Right. So mm-hmm. that's why I take that. So I've been taking the products for consistently for about like two years. Okay. 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 Got anything for like cats? <laughs> Nutriburst, you can get a cat to Nutriburst too. I also okay. gave the dog, hold really? up. I also gave the dog some tea because one time when I was Ooh. taking her out to the bathroom, she couldn't go and she was getting on my nerves. I didn't feel like keep taking her out all every five minutes. So I mm. gave her some tea. Mm. cleared her right on up. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> now this is a detox. So of course it's helping you to clear your system. Yeah. Do you have control over your bowels and things like that, or will this get away from you if you're in the street? Like, do you need to be at home when you're taking this stuff? So let me because talk people about they, they this take is the real OD shit show. We talking the real tea, shit, right? show. So let me tell you. So now the tea we got OGT. I call this OGT. This is the original Ooh. gangster of the tea, right? Okay. This one you going to brew on the stove. It's going to make a gallon of tea. You put it in your refrigerator. You drink two eight ounce cups a day, right? This gotcha. one is a little bit stronger, but it's refreshing. So what people tend to do is drink it like it's juice. It ain't juice. So if you you feel like you want to drink it like it's juice, baby, you're not gonna leave your house. Okay. It's going okay. Down. <laughs> it's so moderation. If you if you take it like it's prescribed, like if you want to just go willy nilly take like five teas, you might have a rough night. Okay. You just a might have a rough night. But if you take it as prescribed, then you will be absolutely okay. Now everybody is different. Right, you see how this side hit me in the back, sir? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> right? You see how that side hit me? It's sorry. It's all right. Bring it back here, just like that. <laughs> but um, no, you you shouldn't be able to, to. You shouldn't have to stay next to the bathroom when you drink this. It's a gentle detox. It's not like yeah. it's not a laxative. All right, that's what I was asking. Great. So that's what I'm it's not a laxative. It's a gentle detox. If you don't OD, like oh, yeah. I want my stomach to be slim, slim. I'm gonna do ten of them. No, then you ain't leaving the house. Mm-mm. Right. Mm. I like that. I like that. That's what's like up. That. Now, do you, the multivitamin, which I'll put back up, is that something that, um, do you need to take, because I, I have that. I oh, have no. that from our producer on the show, Mark yeah. Five. So with this, for other people, do they still need to take other vitamins or are all of your vitamins in here? So that is a multivitamin. So that has all of the vitamins in it. You don't need to take your other vitamins when you take that, but there are people who take different vitamins. So I can't tell people what to take. They do what's best for them, but I, I just take my nutrients every right. day. And then also if people don't, you know, they ain't ready for the whole month supply yet. Cause I don't know. They don't know what it tastes like. They ain't ready to try it. We got samples too. Let's That's get it. you a good old sample. That's that. All right, so at the end of the show, we always go around for any promos, anything you want to let people know so you can give your uh, tags and you can give them your contact information. Mm. Thank you. All right, ladies, we got a few H's left. I think we have, what, happiness and we have humor. What are we doing? Um, I like to take happiness. That's All right, funny. baby. I like to take happiness. I like to take happiness because I like to do the same thing. Uh, stay happy. They smile. Mm. Do you know how many horrible people walk around every day with shitty breath and shitty minds and shitty attitudes? I watched Jason's lyric the other day, and I don't know if y'all remember the guy that used to sing, that vagabond that used to sing in the middle of the little sets. And he was like, People got shit they ain't got rid of. You got shit that don't come off you. You got shit that smells. You got shit that don't go nowhere. I was like, yeah. (laughs) Jason lyrics, yeah. Yes, people got a lot of shit with them. Like just answering the phone. Like, can you just smile? Like you can hear the detriment 
over the phone. I've gone through a death. Mm. I'm still able to hear you through what I'm going through. And I hear how much desperation you're going through. Like, you, not even desperation. Okay, so just, just bottom line, this is the cut the shit moment at the same time I got to talk about happiness. <laughs> Some people just cause themselves to not be happy when you don't want to do the simple things, which is read. Mm. Do you know how easy it is to read? That was a question. Well, if, yeah. if a person knows how to read, unfortunately, there's a number of adults that's illiterate. Mm. I found that out as well. Those that fake that they know how to read. Yes. Yeah. It's just like you try to fake happiness. Like you can't fake it. You can't. You can, oh. you can fraudulently get yourself through it. But mm. isn't it better to just actually be happy? Mm -hmm. yeah. Wait, but here's the thing. You know what I found? You know what I found? You right. can't actually fake happiness. Right, exactly. you can't yeah. fake happiness, and if you fake happiness enough, you will become happy because mm. you'll trick your mind into the fact that you really are happy. So mm -hmm. you can fake happiness to make yourself happy. So fake it. Right. You I'm, I'm gonna piggyback fake it on that. Too. Fake it I'm gonna piggyback too. on that. That's that fake it until you make it. So to a degree, I do agree. Mm -hmm. However, what I'll say to all our listeners is that you can fake it and try to make it. However, you're going to be tested and tried. Yes. So when that test come, it's going to see, I see that finger up church, brother. Go on, brother, Thomas. I just want to, I just want to say, be careful with the fake it thing. Yeah. It Thank you. Toxic happiness. Thank and within you. toxic happiness, yes. you can have a meltdown. What did come you on, say? Because it'll catch up with you. It'll catch yes. up with happiness. You gotta be careful with that. It'll I mean, catch up with you and bust your ass. It will. But, but, so but I think if we're faking thing, the happiness, I think if we're faking the happiness, we have to be learning through it. How about right. that? There yeah. we go. I mean, yeah. so when I say learn, I mean building ourselves up, people, to be stronger. To get so when situations do arise, we yeah. can handle them better. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Okay. So we can right agree on that. So we can fake it, but we need to be being accountable and building ourselves up. Yep. So we yep, don't feel like we're just it, a victim and we're just going along to get along. That's it's that like you said, thing. you got to fake it till you make it, but eventually you're going to start picking up some of it, right? So right. you're going to have to start eating off some of it because how long can you continue with a lie before you start becoming the lie? Yeah. Mm. Right. Yeah. Right. right. That's, that's, that's lie for me. That's that's mm. what it is. Like I, if I'm if I'm sad, if I'm mad, if I'm going through stuff, then granted, everybody goes through stuff, right? Everybody mm -hmm. has their moments. Everybody has their days. But in the same sense, I know that I need to trick my brain to say, "Listen, this is only a moment. This is mm -hmm. only a, a, a day. This right. can't last forever mm -hmm. unless I make it last forever." Now, if I stay in that same mental funk, if I stay in that same mindset, then that's where I'm gonna be. But I gotta program myself to say, listen, no matter what's going on, no matter the situation, baby, it can always be better right, because right. there's always somebody out there that's doing worse than what I am. So yeah, I gotta be grateful for what I have yeah. right now. Come so on, that man. I move on to get something else. Come yeah. on. So, so yeah. when I say that that you have to, um, you gotta fake it until you make it. I'm mentally preparing myself to Come make on. it. Like I'm mentally preparing myself to make it. I'm not faking it for the funk for everybody else. There you mm -hmm. go. I'm faking it for me because I know that my mental has to be strong enough to keep going no matter mm -hmm. what. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you, right got, you got people, little little ones. I don't know if people got little ones, but you got little ones that may be watching you. So if they see you going through something all of the time, if they see you always negative, then guess what's going to happen to them? Right. Exactly. Right. So So that's what I mean when I say that. Yeah. Yeah. I know I agree, and that's why I appreciate us having always such a wonderful panel because mm -hmm. everyone has their own ideas, and each one of us can help an individual. What mm -hmm. I say may not touch somebody, but what you say just may. So right. I appreciate that, and that's right. what we do. We look to build up and to give ideas and share with everyone because you don't know who's going to need what, how they're going to use it. Right. So I thank you for that, and I thank you for taking time to explain it because some people wouldn't. So I think mm. and take time to use that same moniker when you go into any type of customer service derived place, whether it was food establishment, whether you're on the phone. I don't give a shit if you went to go pick up some dry cleaning from three years yeah. ago. Yeah. Damn it. Just be it, it takes nothing to say good morning mm -hmm. or hi, how are you? Good day. Things good. That's it. 
People get the attitude all day today. Good morning. I just trying to figure out what the hell. Okay, hi, how how are you? <laughs> and your name is. Hey, I can break. help you, mm. but we first need to establish who you are, darling. Mm. I'm gonna go right there, baby. I got called Puddin' Pop today. I didn't like it. What? But what? Then I called him. What? what? You know, Oh, snake eyes. So it uh, uh, the flirtation that went back and forth. <laughs> you know what I mean? You got called. But it made him call? laugh. So I'm like, give you a little bit of happiness. He's, you know what? I'm not even, you know what? This ain't even none of your fault. This is just some shit I'm going through. Exactly. If you could take a moment. You got called. Just, pop. <laughs> yeah. Put him pop. Is this motherfucker Bill Cosby? How do, what is this? <laughs> the other pop. day, he called me uh, Sugar, t- sugar Tail. I didn't say sugar tits. I didn't even say sugar tits. I thought it was sugar tits and I was ready to drop them as a client, but I said sugar tail. Okay, let's see how far this goes. Because if you call me one more confection is sweet. I'm going to have to report you on this. But a little bit of happiness, like that was his little, and I had to let him know, like, your happiness ain't anybody's happiness. Because that, 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 that was a little fresh. That wasn't kind of happiness. You, kinda was like, his, you was his happiness. I was his happiness, and I had to. Okay, in this moment, let's teach each other. This certain stuff was a happiness you should be happy to give out. All right. Until so you make it. That was his fake until he make it. He would fake that shit, and you can tell he was used to saying that shit, and women don't say nothing. Well, today, sir, was your lucky day. I'm going to start you with your stuff. Too full happiness. Don't know that shit no more, okay? Hey, guys, what's wrong with you? But, anywho, yes, this is teaching moment, teaching our help, hope, homing. But what we got next, Nick? Is this one more H, Nick? What's that other H, Nick? Well, I figured um, that Nick could do humor, but I want to piggyback off of the nah. happiness, and then I want to uh, do any uh, of them. Uh, I don't like being controlled. I got, I, I, I got to eat this <laughs> off the list. You know what I'm saying? I got control issues and shit. So it's because of Jay Monet had brought up that uh husky. Uh, what you call it? What's the H you said? Uh, husky. Husky. What was it? Husky. The husky. So, she made me think of Husky. Remember Husky back in the day when right. you were a chubby yeah. kid? And it fed the yeah. Party. I just, I just, and then we got the health sister here. So I just thought about Husky. I used to be, a, I used to be in the Husky department. My mom used to be mad as shit. Like, you know, like a Husky department. You gotta stop eating. Like, my mom used to be mad. My mom is like a Angela Bassett, teen, you know, Tina Turner, like built little petite thing. He was always in the Husky department fucking with me because my daddy was fat. I got that fat gene. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, no, I like, what, what word you wanted me to use? Humor? Heal? What you say? You're already making us laugh. Humor, silly. Okay. Uh, humor um, slash heal because I got a memory of many years ago when we had a, a, a comedy uh, show, comedy uh, team with um, Mr. Andrew and I throw that bag of tape, potato chips from that, um, that motherfucking yeah. Uh, yeah. Yo, I had been healed. I don't steal no more. I was like, mm. ooh. I was like, I, <laughs> I said Andrew big ass could have whipped my ass. I threw a nope. bag of potato chips and yeah. that motherfucker saw me on TV. He saw yeah. me on Humorous. Oh my god. Well, humorous is like the way that he was uh, trying to turn it into something that more than it he was. He was coming at all of us. He was coming at all of us. Oh, For a bag of potato chips? Yeah. No, and then I, I, did, I, I, I had to end that relationship with him because, like, it, 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 like, for me, like, the, the thing was savagely black. And it's like, I wanted black women and black men of all colors to uh, come together and, and share their, their senses of humor. Mm-hmm. And you know, I was doing it through him, and then he started turning into some weird shit over a bag of potato chips. I'm like, yo, I'll give you money for the fucking potato chips. It ain't nothing major. And then like she was saying something about toilet paper missing. I'm like, yo, I'll I'll give you toilet paper too. I ain't still no toilet paper. Shit. I ain't still no toilet paper now. I, I know you ain't doing it. I already know you ain't doing it. A certain person. Damn. Got but they was up. hood. Let me tell you, they was hood because when I was trying to purchase the chips, nobody was there. So I was like, I did what I do at the poppy store. I was like, ain't nobody at the register. I just walked away. But she never came back to the camp counter. So I was like, well, I'm just going to have my little snack and I'll pay her. So in that miss, he caught me like, you know, I ain't paid for something. He was, right. he didn't like us. I just don't think he liked us. <laughs> Period. I mean, like I said, it, was, it wasn't that major. It was funny as shit. And like, like you know, I was I was pissed for a little bit because like you know I was b- trying to build a brand there, but mm-hmm. uh, it all it all happens for a good reason. 
Fuck all that. Well, that healed me because I ain't I ain't never taken <laughs> nothing from no mother the other age. That shit healed me, honey. It's a wrap after you that, huh? You ain't gotta gossip about me. I'm gonna gossip about myself. <laughs> I, I, that shit healed the fuck out of my husky ass. <laughs> I mean, what, what, yo, Spain, what, what fucked me up the most about all this is is like it's not just the dude the way he was acting over a fucking bag of potato chips. I'm like, you could if you'd have came to me, I'd have been like, yo, I got it. That's it. If you just came to me, I mean, we used to have meetings, and I'm spending like hundreds of dollars on fucking chicken. Yeah, and it's, good and it's chicken. Like, Y'all ain't paid for shit. It was, was good like, chicken. It was white people chicken. Yo, I'm saying to myself, why didn't you just say, "Yo, I want some chips"? You came to me, I'd have, I'd have killed, I'd have killed it right there. It, 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 it wasn't that hard. I'm about to smoke now. I got to smoke. Uh, I see. <laughs> smoke again. He's so serious. Though. Well, we're about to get into the Adele hour, and we're going to cut the shit before we do that. What I wanted to piggyback on was um, Bikini, and she was talking about happiness. So on Channel 10 News yesterday, they had a little segment, and they were talking about happiness. And they were saying, smiling and laughing nine times a day. Now, again, I don't know who the people want to say the people, but the people say with the survey, if you laugh nine times a day, uh, again, I don't know how many years a month, they say you can add nine years onto your life. Now, again, Ooh, I'm start laughing. Damn numbers. what I do know is you can add years to your life because you're not taking years off your life by stressing and being upset. Right. Yeah, and that's mm-hmm. part of what we're looking to do with this whole show. We're looking to discuss those health issues. We're looking to discuss that depression, the sadness, the suicidal thoughts, and mm-hmm. find a way to live through it, learn through it, and finding a way at the end to laugh through it. Because mm-hmm. you're not by yourself going through it. And it's only for the moment. As you've gone through things before and you thought that you was going to die and not make it through, you made it through that. Trust and believe you're not by yourself and you'll make it through again because you've already gained more substance based on what you've already been through. So that's what we're going to do. We thank you all for sharing those words. We're going to get into cutting the shit. I already got my scissors ready. I right, get my scissors. Oh, you got that knife? You can get a knife. I guess. Yeah, it's it's real shit they be trying to cut. This be happening. We'll get some scissors. I just got some scissors. <laughs> Look at the TV nice though. Like, why? <laughs> you already said you want like 2,000, so you don't got a lot of shit you cutting out. You don't need big scissors. You don't need a big joke. Oh, man. We're ready. <laughs> All right, so. We ready. We ready. We are ready to cut. I be having some stiff shit. ass scissors. Oh. I need some DW40. Oh, don't you make oh. sure you use no gorilla glue. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, Bikini or Nicole, won't one of y'all go first so we can give our guests an idea of what cut the shit is all about? Um, It's simple, y'all. Cutting the shit for me this week is um, oh, cut the electricity off. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> No, my bill ain't been paid. I'm like, ooh, this is not Texas, is it? No, no, no. Uh, they about to cut I, the electric. Cut the electric. <laughs> I want to cut the shit with my realtor because ooh. cut the shit. It, 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 you know, not everybody's all good. Not everybody's all bad, right? That's mm-hmm. an aspect of life. Um, my realtor, young, bribing, young, young, young white brother from Temple University, nice looking, you know, doing his thing. And I think he keeps not hearing me about certain locations that I want to go to. And some of the places he's taken to me is some real hood, you know, people shooting up outside, out in the open. And I keep telling him what I want. I don't want to be in certain neighborhoods. You know what I mean? It's right. okay to be a person of color and have selection you know yes. so I just, right, cut the shit on his ass because he not listening and he like oh she cool as hell her mama black let me keep taking her to real bad neighborhoods stop doing that shit cut nah. the shit nah. and listen to the shit nah. Nah. oh shit, shit sir. holy shit sister and check her food resume <laughs> okay, cut the shit resume. cut the shit <laughs> Right. A good realtor is a good is a take you a long way. Yes. Yes. 
Ooh, All right. Gross. I see we got Nicole P. I'm grateful to have her. She's been on for the last few shows. She always has some excellent input. Hopefully she'll let us know what shit she cutting out of her life. <laughs> you know what I'm cutting, y'all? Hey, y'all. How the hell are you ready? Get my scissors. She be ready. Let me get my scissors. She be ready. Yeah, I, 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 told, I told Ethan to get me some scissors. <laughs> <laughs> no. Let, you know what my cut this shit is, y'all? But honestly... And just like you say, there's too much killing and too many angry people and too many unnecessary nonsense BS. Yeah. If they don't cut this shit with these cones and these parking spots, oh, oh. and it snowed about a week ago. <laughs> 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 I saw him, like, let the little nigga out of jail. About a week ago, week ago. <laughs> week ago, week ago, week ago. No, no, no more, y'all. Like, they still got the phone in the spot. Cut the shit. Cut the shit. Cut the shit. <laughs> they don't cut the shit. I have no regard for no one my age. <laughs> <laughs> when the elderly people, you know, the elderly people, absolutely, that cone can stay there forever. However, okay. the rest of you other people, you have to shit. tighten up. It was 60 the other day. Why is it a cone? <laughs> in your I can't. I can't. I can't. When it was a blizzard, you respect the first couple of days. You know you have to respect it. You dig yeah. yourself out. You respect it the first couple of days. If so yes. again, you respect it again. But once it's over, it's over. It's over. It's over. That's it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> they don't cut the shit in these cones. <laughs> you should just get a big ass pair of fucking garden shears and cut every cone you see. Yeah. You know what I mean? Cut yep. the shit. Just put a just leave it in there. Like, y'all looking at me like just I'm leave the bad it in like that. <laughs> because I'm the bad neighbor because now I'm cutting y'all shit for y'all because y'all didn't. And now I need to move this cone and I need to park here after my long day of work too, y'all. Yeah. All right. So wait a minute. Let's, <laughs> let's let's deal with that for a moment, because last week it was a neighbor that killed his neighbor, mm. absolutely, a husband and wife. So yes. I don't know what side of that, Nicole, you will be on. I know we will probably be on the killer side because you, my niece, and we crazy. So that's the well, side you probably. Be, well, you know, up. I'm trying to be humble because there's that factor of it gets really crazy. Someone, yeah, my brother moved the car and someone flattened his tires. And they say, Oh wow. Wow. That, See, that's, that's very disrespectful, right? Wow. So I wound up parking and she pulled up on me and I, I had to handle it very let's say respectfully. Okay. <laughs> Respect. Sis, you had your table in the, 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 the um parking spot two days ago across the street. Table? Uh, I'm going to say a table. A table? A table. A table. I didn't they put anything out there. I have recycle bins, cones, everything. <laughs> <laughs> she put two tables in her parking spot. I kindly oh. moved them and parked. That was... <laughs> now, following week, she's really in front of her door, and I have to park. It's 11 o'clock at night. I have a pocketbook with me. I have just the same wrist that you have, ma'am. <laughs> Come on, that's I moved real. her chair and I parked. She pulled up on me. She said, For real? For real? <laughs> I kind of looked straight like I didn't see her. <laughs> no! <laughs> Wait, you ain't see her. Or her. <laughs> I tried not to respond. And then she put a window <laughs> down. She said, This is the bullshit. And I oh, said, I have to agree. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> he said, my son just shoveled this out. And I said, no, he didn't. I just was parked here three days ago. He didn't. Say, the son melted it. Don't well, try What do you shit. want me to do, miss? I said, what do you want me to do, miss? I, I, it's nothing, miss. Right. <laughs> and I, she kind of sped off. And she <laughs> told her son to come get her belongings. And I went home. And my whole thing is, I'm going to pray now. Because now, are you going to do something to my car? Yep. yep. I'm going to flat my tires. Yep. Are you, That's the thing. You know, are you going to scratch the car? The petty shit. So that's where I was leading to. That's where I was leading to. Outside of her putting the window down and things like that, because you are neighbors and you do know each other, to cut this shit, would you take the time to address her, like knock on the door and Mm. have that time outside of the car? Why not? Not everybody with the getting addressed. No. 
Not well, everybody I'm talking about. Because I'm in the age of leave. I want to be left alone. I'm gonna leave you alone. If I can't do anything to help you, I don't want to be bothered with you. But mm. if maybe if y'all had so my whole thing is it's nothing. It's it's nothing. Is is I have nothing to say to someone that had a chair and a table across the street in the parking <laughs> spot, and then she put a cone in the other parking spot across the street. At this point, you're paying musical cones, ma'am. I don't want to fucking talk to you. Cones. Yes. <laughs> yes. I want to talk to you. I want to say God bless you. Good night. See you later. Yes. Goodbye. Yo. <laughs> I was in Detroit last week and they asked me, Philadelphia must be the capital of this shit or must create this shit. I believe it. The, 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 like somebody in Detroit was like, yo, you from Philly? You live out in Philly? Oh, they um they be putting couches and sofas and shit. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and he just looked at me and he was like, not in Detroit. I just looked at him. I was like, sure not. He was like, not Detroit, not no Chicago, because Philly still oh, got some flags. Some type of control. That right. Chicago and them Detroits, they blowing brains outside on the scene. Okay. Come so on, I'm now. glad that, I, I'm glad when okay. people go You know, my movies. son, my son, he's 20, right? Do you mm-hmm. know he moved a chair on, 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 my, on my grandma's block? And the Ooh. man came out and said they had choice words. You know what this man told my son? Yeah, you right. You right, young boy. You got it. I be back. You got it. My son had to say, oh, here, let me tell you something. What does that mean? In this day and age, he said, I'm not one of them bulls, but what if I was one of them bulls? What if I decided to take that a whole nother way? Like, right. this not the day and age where that's okay to say to someone and walk off. Right. And then no, the man said, you, the man says, you right, young boy, da, 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 and you know, and he said, I move out your parking spot. He says, but I've been parking on the corner for a whole week now. You, and I, you know, it, it ended well. I think, you know, he said, I, they might have shook hands. I don't know that part, but the man was understanding. He said, you right, young boy. Like, you know, I apologize. And that was that, but that, that's, that don't happen every day. Well, apparently we see that he must've been raised by his father. Cause we see his mama. <laughs> <laughs> His mama ready to cut the shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to cut the shit. I'm tired. I'm tired. I don't want to walk four blocks. I don't want to come home and 10 parking spots got cones and the shit. Right. And, it, and, it, and it's no more snuff. Right. Come on. It's no more snuff. I'm, I'm with it. 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 All right, guys, as we're about to move on, who's going to go next? Bikini. Nicole. My girl, you're going to cut some shit. I want to cut some shit. She never, she never want to cut some shit. <laughs> On oh, people just- that are um, at work that feel like they need to just be loud and be heard every crevice of the office. <laughs> they just want their whole conversation heard. I'm tired of you. Shut the fuck up, Patrice. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Nobody needs to hear your goddamn conversation with Mr. G when I sit right next to you and the people across the street at Family Dollar can hear your fucking conversation. Nobody cares that your phone is not on mute when we on a Zoom call, Patrice. You ain't got to keep saying, did anybody talk to me? I thought y'all was talking to me. I had a question. All right, I'm going back on mute. Going back on mute. But before I go on mute, shut the fuck up, Patrice. Shut the fuck up. That the ass just got to be a part. Cut the shit. Nobody oh, likes you at home, so you bring that shit to work. Cut the shit. <laughs> Cut the shit. Oh, get the shit. How do you do the same shit on the Zoom that you do? Damn it, Nicole. And then you bring it to work. Damn. Cut the shit. Stop. Your family doesn't really care about you. They really glad that you're out the house. Oh, we're like, I must change my shit. Cut the shit. <laughs> you got the only white girl in the building coming in a half an hour early so she can leave a half hour early from your black loud ass. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, they gonna say thank you. <laughs> thank you. Hey, but you, you better not. Hey, but I you, kind of today. people like y'all ever work with people like that? That just everything that they do, they gotta be loud about everything. Uh, they gotta say everything like, "Girl, because I'm about to have me a cheesesteak." Cheesesteak? Did you say cheesesteak? Oh, we wasn't talking. To you. Oh, because I thought somebody was talking to me about a cheesesteak. You know, I had a cheesesteak. You know the kind of cheesesteak you should get. Listen, you can have cheesesteak there. Shut the fuck up. They lonely. No one was talking to you. And then you didn't get your work done. So you sitting here talking all fucking day. I'm just sitting back laughing. I went to the store quietly and got myself some earbuds. Then I put my headset (laughs) over it. 
So they said he talking to me like, Sheree, Sheree. And then they hit me on a little messenger like, do you have earbuds in? Because we keep calling you. I said, I needed a sound barrier. Oh. I needed something to stop. I needed earbuds to shut this bitch up. <laughs> so please, if you are that coworker, no one is listening to you. Your voice is irritating. And I'm gonna need you to cut the shit before we cut you out the office, okay? The shit. Now, all right, Bikini, could it be that because- No, it she, can't be. No, well, it can't be. Guess- <laughs> None of it. No. All I'm going to say is that yes. people been at home in quarantine and they miss socializing. So could it be, I see the hand, come on Sparks. Could it be that maybe she's just a little bit lonely because she's been yep. at home, she's a little excited to see everyone unless she was like this prior pandemic. I don't know. She's we from the know. Bronx, New York. Oh, she extra. Prior pandemic. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. So all I've been hearing, y'all yeah, saying, on God, son. On God. Like, oh, yeah, that'll burn me the fuck out. Even, I can't That's so loud. It's not professional. She's talking to a client like, yo, so what happened to the pit bull, though? What? Oh, God. Like, well, I swear to God, what you gonna do, Mr. J? Like, oh, that's what he said, though. You should find out where that dog owner is. Like, did you get checked? Like, oh, I'll be suing the pants off that. Like, what? I'm like, oh. what? Love and hip not? I'm, I'm, I can't. I can't. So just cut the shit. If that's you, please cut the shit. We, we are entertained. Go get a microphone and be a comedian. Okay? Cut okay. the shit. All right, bikini. Mr. Thomas, what you cutting? What you want to say? First, I got, first, I got to ask Bikini to use those nice knives to cut Spain sandwich in half. Because I got the money. Thing. Ready, <laughs> we ain't doing no uh herbal life today. Uh, uh, Husky, Jay, <laughs> that was your word for today. Husky, yeah, that's my, last right there. my last meal. My last meal before my last my pills and my my cheese. Girl, we know it's the adult hour. That's when you get into your mukbang. We know. Don't she always every show? Whoever eats comes every, every time. Yo. Mm. I'm gonna start going to her house for the show. Make sure I can get some food. You are time, my sister in Christ and comedy. You are welcome. All right. All right, Drew, what you cutting? What's, what's the shit? I got my scissors. What we doing, baby? I, I got to cut my own shit. Like, okay. I, I mean, I, I know I got tone problems. I, I I was talking to my mom earlier. And she's just like, I know you mean good. And I know you try to help people, but sometimes your tone just be off. Mm. I mean... I mean, hell, like, like Spain talked That's a little cool. bit about it ear- earlier, talking about some, like, you know, with the with the thing that I used to run. It's just like, I wasn't trying to be mean or nothing. Just like, like sometimes when you don't understand, she'd be like, "What the? That don't make no sense." You know what I mean? And, and then like, yeah. it's just like the initial like, "Why? Why would you do that?" It, it, right. It's, and it's like you don't want to come off like that, but it's just like, it's not. The, it's like. I, I don't understand why my brain wouldn't compute. And then it's like trying to bring it back so I can sound. <laughs> like, like, you know what I'm saying? This is like, I got to work on being a better adult. Mm. Okay, baby. And I like it. I like it. I, mean, it. I like what it. Do you mean? Sure. I think uh, you're a good adult. You mean as far as like, like emotion, like, well, it's like, like your response. Thank you, but like it's not. I'm not, I'm not talking about responsibility. It's more I'm so like tone, tone. <laughs> tone period. You're well, a tone. Well, the the words I was going to use was like uh, being better at interpersonal, right? Like, like mm. the, the interplay, the inter, the inter- okay. exchange. Okay. Because like you know, I mean, when you when it's around us, like it, it's different, and yeah. like you'll take. And this is the other thing. Like when I'm around white, the white people are not us. It becomes aggravated, angry, and I'm like, "You talking about me?" <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's like, it's like, like being mindful, being a little bit more self aware, yeah. and then like, when I when I'm smoking, like don't like try not to be too carefree because right. when, I, when I'm trying to smoke, uh, right. I just I just shit just come out. So, <laughs> <I'm doing laughs> so you want to balance? I need balance. I need some of that um uh Nutriburst. Hey, yeah. There you go. <laughs> ah, full circle. Yes. Do you yeah. find that being a black man in America, you know, 
black man in this country and this globe that th- your tone especially has to be tweaked because you'll be the angry black man or you might you know scare somebody or whatever people got on you know statistics on black right. men i mean like before uh before terry cruz got popular <laughs> <laughs> I, I used to be like that but like we're getting us muscular well i'm not as muscular as i used to be damn pandemic <laughs> but <laughs> like but him being like those that sensitive muscular negro mm-hmm. that talk about getting accosted, quote unquote. Um, uh-huh. He he's helped with uh I guess how people view or try to navigate um, husky black dude. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. For the most part, like I mean. That they go to do mm-hmm. it. He's not the. Uh, not fall or succumb to that dumb shit. Uh-huh. Well, you're not husky, that's for sure. You ain't fat, child. <laughs> she said that taking a bite. Weight. That's grown man weight, baby. <laughs> that's grown man weight right there. That's grown man weight. You can have my tooth. That's grown man weight right there. That's that, that's that uh, rice and peas and shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. I can tell it. Get him a bungle. Roti. Cuckoo. Roti. Cuckoo. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, like that, that's all, that's where I'm at, man. It's like you know, like I, I was, like I'm in my forties, so like when I when I'm saying to myself, I want to be able to, uh, if if I happen to find that woman, like in the past when I came close to marriage, mm-hmm. the, the woman told me flat out, like you, your tone, you gotta fix your tone type shit, and it's just like, right. like what what I th- what, but like the, like with dudes, it's cool because like they get it. Right. Where, whereas, like with women, like it's a different animal altogether, and that's that's something I, I that's the shit I got to learn to cut. All right. So, question: mm-hmm. When it's dealing with your tone, I can understand the way in which you may say something. Do you internally feel some way? Like, are you upset, or are you just reacting that way? Maybe your voice is, you know, a little bit more crass, or maybe you may be, you know, higher. Maybe you may be louder. But within your own being, are you actually upset about the situation? Or you just sound that way. At, sometimes I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I mean, like sometimes I'm like upset. Other times, like I'm trying to, I don't know, like like drop jewels. It's like, like let's say it's a friend that 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 hits me up for like a favor or money or some shit, and I've done it before. And, and you know, like I don't want to be the guy that starts to keep count. But if you do it enough and you're constantly putting yourself in this situation. And and that's, asking, that's a good tone. That, that's about money, nigga. I'm with yeah, you on that tone. And he ain't pay you back and he asking for more. <laughs> Don't make me clear my throat on that one. <clears throat> Let me make sure you hear the tone on that. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but you understand what I'm saying? It's like, yeah. it, it doesn't it have to just be money, but it could just be like 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 a favor or favors. And, and then like when it should, like if you ain't got the time or you do it so much, it becomes an expectation. Mm-hmm. Versus, like, versus like uh, appreciation exactly like, nah, nah I, i'm good cut the shit that. people don't expect shit from me i tell my own <laughs> kids you ain't getting <laughs> shit cut the sh- shit yeah. <laughs> i'm gonna do a I, heavy appreciate you, I, I appreciate you being self-honest and your yes. you know, transparency on some real shit you ain't abusing yourself all in the dumps about it and you're not cocky about it you're right you in the balance there you go your That's tone it. is great with delivering this message Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some snaps on that. Ohio. Ohio. (laughs) Still want a piece of that too. Who is left to cut this shit? I know I need to go. Bikini, you need to. No, Bikini already went. No, Bikini, you need to. I got to get that cutty sparks, honey. I got that. So let me tell y'all what I want to cut. I want to cut the fucking hair. Because I know everybody and their mama is on social media these days, but we got so many social media thirsty holes that is just getting on my nerves. It's driving me insane. I want to cut them off. Why do you have to get on social Don't media me. and cry? Why mm. do you have to get on social media and tell everybody your business? Why mm. do you have to get on social media and cough? Why do you have to get on social media? <laughs> I'm so sick. I'm so sick. Really? Get better. Like, you don't need to be on social media telling everybody. You need to be getting better. Mm. And then why you got to be showing your butt every five minutes? Like, is that the I only thing? No Social media, so I just want to cut all the social media thirsty <laughs> holes that are getting on my nerves. 
Get out of here, you hussy social media. Yo, 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 please keep, keep you your balance. Your balance and social media, your balance and your tone. Now we'll make a disclaimer because I know some of them thirsty hoes, they be getting to a bag. I get it. I get yeah. it. Yeah. But some of y'all, some of y'all just want to be seen. The attention is just, it's just too yeah. much. Mm. It's just too much attention. Yeah. For you. Cut them off. I like it. Or can I we like just it. cut them this way? Can we just. Oh, can you cut them this way? I'm with you. I'm with you. Yes, because I'm just. I, 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 I'm with you. That, that, I don't even. I'm sorry. I don't mean to even jump on your thing, but all I'm going to say is Suki the goat. Uh -huh. what, what's her, how you spell that? I'm trying to find no, it. No, no, there's a chick from Love and Hip Hop that was Suki the Goat. Oh, and she, yeah. This chick was all on social media. He wiped her or 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 uh, whatever, put a ring on it so she can throw up on his penis on on her little show for everybody. And oh. then he left her. Now she's bent down on all fours talking about it's an open season. Stop. We've already seen your whole throat esophageal tract. We don't oh. care to see how much dirtier body you can get. Like, put some clothes on and some class in your fucking self. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, mm -hmm. so I want to stab him this way. Like, no, no, <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no. The fuck? Woo. Poke a hole in that ass. No, no. Oh, <laughs> now, like Jay, no. had, like Jay, you had asked earlier, do you think people wilding out, especially because the whole COVID and everything going right. on, no, no people skills, we're not around each other, like it's a little bit more heightened, right? Sport, like you don't, you, you ain't cutting excuse. You like nah, fuck that. No, she said like, cut the shit. She like she's looking like real flat, like nah. She's not even talking. She's just cutting over there. I'm she's just, just cutting. cutting. I'm over it. I'm over <laughs> it. That's why no I just said like this. Mm -hmm. No COVID. Uh -uh. No, no. I'm not giving y'all no COVID. COVID. What would you call it? What else I call it the winter blues, Black Lives Matter. No, like, no, no excuse. Uh -uh, no. Cut it shit. off. Cut. No <laughs> excuses. Cut. They're all excuses. <laughs> They're all. They are. They are all excuses. Keep it go. She, she got some good blades on that. Because you in the That's house the don't mean that everybody got to see everything. Come on now. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. I don't want to see everything. Suki the goat, though, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? <laughs> look, 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 Drew. You might see it turn that shit, come back and be like, Bikini. Now, why you ain't warned me that that thing <laughs> didn't look like a damn goat? I said goat. <laughs> okay. Okay. Mad. Mad. Go. That shit look bad for your health. Yes. <laughs> All right. Wait a minute. I gotta cut the shit. Well, my computer cut the just. Shit, Jay. What you cut, Jay? My cut computer need to stop dying. It need to stop that bullshit. That's. I bullshit. thought we cut that shit today, and you got to your laptop. Still. I'm on my laptop. It's just dying on me. I gotta plug it oh. in. Oh. However, oh. however, my cut the shit. Oh wait, I'm already and prepared. Hold on. My, uh -oh. my, my cut the shit is uh -oh. um people, 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 people. Okay. Drivers, drivers, drivers. Yes. If you have two tickets and you scared to get that third, please pay your tickets. If you old as shit and you can barely <laughs> see what's in front of you, please cut that shit. Oh. If you don't have a license. And your ass now you supposed to be out driving. Please cut your shit, shit because you was in my way. Got it? Cut your cut shit. It. Get cut out it. the damn way. Because when the police come around you, you slow the hell down. You blocking everybody the hell else because you got some shit going on that you afraid that they're going to pull your ass over on. All right, we won't forget that I was pulled over today. That's besides the point. <laughs> don't, don't matter. Details don't, don't, don't matter. We won't see that. We won't see that. <laughs> the show ain't even start yet at that point. It okay, ain't even, girl. It's cool. But I need y'all, yeah. I'm so serious. I need y'all to get out the way. And I mean, honestly, I thank God for cars. I think all of us do. It give us the mobility to get around. Yeah. It is a, it's a blessing to have. It's, it seems like it's a necessity. However, it's really a blessing. And we need to appreciate our blessings. And what you appreciate it, get it the fuck out my way. Because you was in the way. I think they came up with a song. It was called Move, Bitch. Get out, get out the, way. the way. Get, get out, out the way. way. Get out the way. And he said, maybe you ain't hear me. So then he said it again. Move, bitch. Get out the way. Get out the way. 
So all I want y'all to do is get out our way. Pay your damn ticket. Do whatever you got to do and keep it moving. You got four wheels under you. Keep it moving. Ain't a keep whole lot moving. of that. So we're going to get into our Adele hour. We're about 20 minutes in. I know that um, Nicole Spain came up with a wonderful idea. And I think our next...